in Sweden. Uh, come to relax again. I've met up with John and Mandy, who are behind me. And well, I've been told whilst I'm in Sweden, I need to experience some big willies. So that's what we're going to do. So the plan is we're now driving up the E12 route into sort of more of the inland area of Sweden. And we're going to make our way up to the Arctic Circle from there. Well, at least that's the plan. But weather dependent, we'll sort of have a bigger play on what's going to go on. So. Um, for the rest of the, for Sweden and Finland, I'll be convoying with John and Mandy. Should be good fun. Um, something we noticed that over like the last two days of me hammering like 1600 miles is I've seen from all green trees to changing to lots of like pro autumnal colours on yellows, oranges and reds. I'd be interested to see how far north we go and like how far winter's already come. Everything is going well, apart from having a slight issue with the battery and the battery charger. At the minute, for some reason, it's, um, it's not charging or it's not getting a high enough voltage to trigger. I don't know if that's because the alternator is not supplying the uh, high voltage normally we should supply near between 30 and 40 amp volts. In the minute is supplying that on the start and then dropping down. So you need to figure out what's going on there. As as you can imagine in the Arctic Circle, sunlight for solar you know, isn't too much of a isn't too plentiful. Interesting to hear from John and Mandy, they've had quite a different um, approaches when they've ended up going to cro border crossings and with police in, um, in the Scandinavian countries. Both, I think, crossing into Denmark and crossing into Sweden for John and Mandy in a motorhome, no issues whatsoever. Crossing over to Denmark and Sweden, I have been quizzed on the vehicle, uh, what my job is, where I'm from, where I'm planning to go, evidence of, to prove to the, the police where I'm planning to go, how can I show that, they want to like, see like Facebook messages and WhatsApp messages I've been sending to John and Mandy's evidence of what I was saying was real, uh, the V5 document for the vehicle which you should have with you, um, insurance, and then I've also got stopped in Sweden once already by the police and put on a Weybridge. Um, which was at the side of the road. But yeah, it seems a big difference that if you're in a, um, a van or a converted van into a camper van that the police like to stop you and have a chat, whilst if you're in a motorhome, uh, they're not bothered. I guess when you're in a motorhome, it's completely given you know, what you're up to. But no, not once have they asked for any like COVID vaccine passport stuff or anything like that. This is simply stunning. <laughs> and just actually start to enjoy Sweden and the trip really. Hopefully a nice little driving day tomorrow and um, crack on. It's starting to get a bit cold in the evenings. I've just got the diesel heater on in the van, not that you can see into the darkness. But uh, no sign of the Northern Lights just yet, but hopefully give it a few more days a bit further north, we might be able to see them. So night for now. Well, it's starting to get colder, six and a half degrees this morning. Coffee's ready. And then get ready for another day. Fire is still warm from last night, so I'm gonna see if I can get it going again. There should be some embers hiding away in here somewhere. Oh yeah. 
Let's see if we can get that going. sausage on the campfire in the rain. Not a bad way to start the day. Not a bad little place, just free to use cabin with log burner, bed, kitchen. A little bit like a bothy in Scotland, only just a, a little bit, a little bit, few more amenities. Even a stable for your horses. Absolutely beautiful. that overland and dirty look going. Made it to our park up for the night. I hope we get some photos when it stops raining for a bit. That's quite hilarious. This is my electrical cupboard. And that's the hot, the exhaust from the top. And because the battery, the battery charge has been on, it's been pumping out the hot air. So it's dried the window off there. Oh, she's a filthy old girl. I don't think I have to worry about privacy out the rear windows anytime soon. <laughs> See where the hot air has been coming out of here and dried it all off. Not a bad view though. Absolutely stunning place. The vans are just over there. I think we're about an hour from the Norwegian border, which is tomorrow's plan, but just chill out here for the rest of the day, get some editing done. I'm just enjoying it. It's just, just absolutely gorgeous. 
doing a simple little dinner tonight, just using the air fryer. And I cook myself some cheeseburgers. Just been hanging out doing a Mandy for a bit in the air van whilst I'm doing some editing. Um, hopefully get the first video of this trip uploaded. Um, yeah, have a bit of a chilled night. Go to bed and then tomorrow, hopefully uh, make our way into Norway. Well, dinner cooked. Some brioche runs, beer. You only used 5% of my power and 19 amp hours. So all electric cooking and with all the driving doing tomorrow, it's gonna be fine. I mean, with uh, there's not much sun as you can imagine this far north at this time of year, but um, with all the driving over the last couple of days, it's not difficult at all to sort of keep up to date with the energy demands. So pretty much gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Another wet and misty morning and no northern lights last night. Got the diesel heater on. Don't mind, they probably have the same over there. Another bit of driving today. I think time to get up. Right, back on the road again. Uh, today we're going to cross the Norwegian border to, and go to a town called Moir. Oh, I, Mo, I, Rana, Rana? Uh, this tunnel's called Mispronounce Adventures anyway. Um, which is about 85 odd miles away. And then we're going to make our way up to the Arctic Circle and hopefully have a night at the Arctic Circle, um, Arctic Circle Centre in, um, in Norway and stay there for the night as our next park up. Hopefully, crossing over sort of the, some of the mountains into Norway, we're going to hopefully be a bit, a bit of a different weather, um, different weather area hopefully get some clearer skies and that's what the weather forecast is sort of to look like as it would be nice to sort of see the northern lights since we're coming this far north. Right, time to get some driving done. The low voltage issue from the alternator from a few days ago seems to have completely disappeared. Um, it's now, as of yesterday morning, it was just working normally again and the van, or the battery, the battery charger is charging the, um, the leisure batteries while driving, which is kind of good since, yeah, as I said, not a lot of solar in the missing uh, rain in North Sweden. example of most trips with people with vans, they just want to take photos of their vehicle uh, looking pretty awesome. How could I not want to get the awesome photo of the uh, van sideways across the road? Finally made it to Norway, got some fuel and figured out I probably need to clean this because all the dirt is mean I can't see anything out the back of it anymore. Yeah. Far easier way of reaching out, I can just walk around. Far easier. I'm 
community. I'm sure that's helping my solar panels as well. to the Arctic Circle. I know it's not the most difficult goals and you can just drive there but it's absolutely mad in another sense and I'm actually rather chuffed and I'm also very impressed at how still so I'm going to go for a bit more I think we're going to stay here the night which should be absolutely brilliant. And you know when else you get to hang out at as a park up at the Arctic Circle sign? And tomorrow we head even further north again. Well, time to make some lunch. Dutch from Toasty Maker. Right in front of the Arctic Circle sign. So electrically wise in the van, for those who are interested, um, as it's a van which is all about electric cooking only with the air fryer and the induction hob, so far all been great with energy. With the amount of driving we're doing and only having one B2B, it's getting charged up. So every sort of day, I'm going through about 20% of my um, overall state of charge, um, which I'm not being particularly like conscious on the amount of energy I'm using. It's energy is, you know, I've got a big enough battery bank, so it's there to be used. Uh, and then with the amount of driving at the minute, which is about three hours a day, I'm, I'm getting that charge back, if not a little bit more throughout the day. So I can have the heating running all night off the diesel heater, the fridge is obviously going and then cooking with the induction hob at lunch, coffee in the morning, air fryer for dinner. Um, and so far, all been fine with the electrics. As you can probably guess, absolutely minimal sun coming in. Um, I think 115 watts is maybe the highest we've got today, but averaging with it being overcast in this far, far, this far north, um, about anywhere from like 20 to 30 watts normally, so nothing at all. But the 30 amp battery to battery charger has been keeping up, um, no problem. I would probably, um, just to decrease the amount of time I would have to drive, put a second 30 amp battery to battery charger in. Maybe when I get back off this trip for, for the rest of the winter. So all ready for bed. Um, blowing an absolute hoolie outside. It's pretty windy, but it's not too cold. It's about seven degrees. So these are heater on. Uh, nice little evening playing uh, car games with John and Mandy. We we're all hoping for the Northern Lights, but at the minute it's absolutely pitch black outside it's got a really really thick cloud cover so i don't think we're gonna have any chance tonight but hopefully over the next few days All right see you tomorrow right so first part of the trip complete reached the arctic circle um we were going to reach it originally in sweden but the plan's always been open so we've changed it and gone to norway instead um so next goal is to try and see the northern lights so far it's been rainy and cloudy every night so here's hoping we get better luck in the coming days um yeah so if you've liked this sort of uh this sort of video a bit of a different from my usual van build videos uh feel free to give me a like um subscribe if you want to watch more leave a comment uh, about things i should do up in this area or just any questions um yeah right See you next time. Bye.